Hello everybody, welcome back to the Choices Gameplay on the channel. This is the fourth episode. As you may know, four episodes already. This is getting pretty intense. If you have not seen the third episode, links will be in the description below. And I will explain how to get to the second and the first episode as well in the description. So if you click the link, I'll explain it now, but it'll make more sense if it, you read it down. It just like process in your brain. So if you click the link for the third video in the description down below of this video, it will take you to my third video. And once you go in the description of my third video, the link for the second video will be in that description. And once you click on the link for the second video, the link for the first video will be in the description of the second video. Confusing, confusing. If you did not get it, I will explain it in the description and I'll put the link and all all the jazz. But anyways, let's go ahead and get started with um chapter four. With your future a heart filled on the line, your roommates band together to help you complete an impossible task. So let's go ahead and start this. Intro has been Oh my gosh, that is so loud. You guys do not know how loud that is. Okay, let's turn it down a little bit. Come on. There you go. Alright. Chapter 4, The All-Nighter. Alright. Oh, and basically what happened um, last episode is I got a job. The boss was pretty rude, but then he was just like, oh, that's perfect reason why I want to hire you. And I was all confused. And then we saw the same guy. If you have not seen episode one, go check it out. We saw the same guy we saw in episode one. So, it's crazy. And it turns out his name's James. Alright, let's just go ahead. Okay. Okay, quick check-in. How many pages has everyone finished? Oh, yeah, and we have to finish this 3,000-page book. Eight. Chris, come on. Twelve. 30. 30? What can I say? I spent a lot of time online. Okay, time to really concentrate and do this. You're about to make your first time. Oh, choice. Make your selection before the timer runs out. Oh, okay. I'm going to write 15 pages. Yes. I'm going to write 20 pages. Oh, oh my gosh. I'm going to write 30 pages. I'm even giving Abby a run for her money. Chris looks for soldier to check your project. Wow, you're getting a lot done. Let's just say I'm highly motivated. And why is that? That was like, I had to like go. What to say? I need to get a degree. I need a life. I can't end up like my cousin Hannah, living in her parents' basement with two maxed out credit cards and a serious addiction to vintage Hello Kitty merchandise. Don't worry, you're not gonna go anywhere. We won't let, let that happen. So Chris heads back to his laptop in the next room. Kayla and Abby slide up to you. Okay, time to dish. What's the la latest on you and Chris? What are you talking about? Yeah, what are you talking about, girl? Don't play dumb. I know you stayed behind last night. Stop pushing her, Caitlin. They're probably just talking. Plus, Michaela McKay would never be reckless enough to date someone in the house, right? To be honest, we're kind of a thing. No, it, you work fast. I I hope you're careful. You heard him. He's not ready for a new relationship yet. Girl, he came on to me. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm not sure. Anyway, we should go back to work. You're the boss. Uh, yeah, this is my 3,000 page thing I have to write. All right, it's midnight. Look, we're ahead of schedule. We're almost a third of the way through. But we just hit a serious emergency. The coffee maker is fried. What? Game over, man. We're doomed. Not if, not if I can help it. It just so happens that the campus coffee shop is only a short walk away from our dorm. Even better, the barista is a total babe. His name is Brandon, and he basically looks like he was covered, carved by Michelangelo. Please, please, come with me, me, McKay, you can be my wing girl. Plus, we'll get enough coffee to keep everyone awake and typing. Please go with him, McKay. We need that coffee. And if Zach goes on his own, he'll end up all night working up the courage to talk to Brandon. 
You're about to hit another premium course. This premium will help you and your new roommates write faster and help them find love. I'm in! Yay, I don't have any more little things. That's my girl. A few minutes later. I don't have any more diamonds anymore, so... I totally owe you one, McKay. I, I know I talk a big game, but under all this steely confidence in my heart is a, of a tiny scared mouth. Oh! Somehow I have trouble with it. Yeah, Zach, you are so... Like, oh, he kind of looks weird. <laughs> Just look at him. The hottest thing around here isn't the coffee. We'll, we'll just make it feel better. Please don't tell me something I don't know. Zach looks over at Brent. Ah, panic is setting in. What if he's not into me? What if he's not even single? What if he's into guys? I guess asking him would be a good start. Great idea. I need you to go get some intel. I'll wait here at the table way over there. Zach, come on, man. Zach speed walks to the table, that, the table at the back. Of the shop as you reach for the front of the line and come face to face with Brandon. I gotta give, I don't know what voice is like, everything okay? Your friend took off in a hurry. Courageous. I think he just got ner gets nervous. I've seen him hanging out a few times. What's his story? Zach, he's the funniest guy you ever met. So he's funny and cute. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh yeah, and did I mention single? Now you, now you did. That actually reminds me of something I want to ask you. Do you? That's that's it. Somehow I don't think you're the one who wants to ask me that. You can tell your friend that he should come and talk to himself, and that I'm into shy guys. Ooh! After ordering coffee for your friends, you head back to Zach's table. So, what do you say? Sounds like he's actually married to a nice girl. What? Relax, I'm just kidding. He seems into you. You should go talk to him. Oh, okay, savage. She was like, hmm, he's just married. Savage. After working up some courage, Zach walks over and finds the six random. Da, 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 silence. So, how'd it go? Terrible. Really? You guys were chatting for like 10 minutes. Yeah, and I, then I ordered another coffee and said goodbye. I didn't even get his number. Come on, Zach. You could do better than that, man. We'll, we'll step your A game up. Come on, man. Wait a second. Look at your cup. Oh. Brandon brought his number. And a winky face. Yay. Best. Wing girl ever. I'm never leaving home without you again. Thanks, Zach. Oh. Okay. And here's for a double expression for my favorite football star. I assume you're talking about me. Tyler, you get out of here. Very funny. Now hand over that cup. I can barely keep my eyes open. By the way, I owe you big time. Anytime you need a wingman, I'm at your disposal. I may take you up on that, but for now, what I really need is for you to type your heart out. Let's just keep pushing, everyone. Push, push it, push it. 4 a.m. Oh, you head to the kitchen for a quick break and find yourself alone with Chris. Oh no. Hey, we haven't really had a chance to talk about last night. Yeah, that kiss is a little nice. Yeah, it was. But uh, what happens now? Mmm, Chris. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, oh yeah, just give me a chance. I want to understand. I want to be more than just friends. To ya. Name that song. I'm not a very good singer. But, uh, yeah. I just need to sing that line. That line was kind of perfect for this whole moment. Okay. Oh, I didn't read that. Oh, so do I. I just promised myself that I wouldn't do this. That I wouldn't get serious. Oh, no. Uh. I just want to the fine relationship talk. Sure, I'm sure. No! Oh! Uh. <gasps> but oh, one thing so long for we can talk about. Ah! Uh, man! Well, we got a big bit of work. Ah, uh, took too soon. Chris trying to walk away. Hey, I think okay. 
Uh, yep. Oh, just uh, setting myself up to get back to work. Right on. Time for one last push. It's like having a baby. Push one more time. That's the last page. We did it. Group hug. Okay, one hug, but now I had I'm headed to bed. But look, good luck. Okay, I hope you get to stay here. Me too. Cause you know we just hit it off with Chris. So, a few minutes later. Oh, this is the French guy. If you do not know who he is, then you have not watched the last episode. I would not tell you who he is if you did not watch the last episode. So, I suggest go into the link description down below and you'll find out who this guy is. Let's see here. Battle spots. Check a couple scenes. No type so far. Congratulations, you completed your task. The manuscript looks adequate. Adequate? What do you want? A gold star for finishing a basic assignment? Actually, you should be more very grateful. Not only did I work all last night, but so do my friends. The least I deserve is a thank you. If you don't want to thank you, go to volunteer. This is a job. But then, I guess you entitled the attitude is why I hear you. You see, my new book is centered on a group of college students in the modern age. And I need to, a first hand account of what it's like to live that life. Your actual first assignment is to write a detailed summary of everything that happened. Oh no. That's that's not good. Was there any drama? How did your friends react when you ensnared them in my little test? Wait, are you saying that that whole type of 100,000 page novel was just a test? Of course it was! Now start writing up the details of, exp of the experience. And when you're done with that, I'd, I've got the next assignment ready. One of the characters in my book is a football player. I need you to go find out what this, like, do some first-hand research. Oh, no. If you do not know what happened the night before, as I said before, I think it happened in the second episode. Go check the second episode out, and you'll find out what happened last night. That's why I'm saying, oh, no. But if you have, then you know why I'm saying, oh, no. And we already know who we're going to have to choose, Chris. I, I do have one friend who's a football player, but... But nothing! I need you to go talk to him in a depth about his life! Oh, okay. After that talk I had with Chris last night, I... Let's complete it. More working! Get to it! Okay. So, that is the end of this chapter. As you can see, we only have one key because we used all our keys to go to the coffee shop with Zach. Wait, yeah, Zach? Yeah. Whoa, things just got, like, really crazy. Oh, James, this is the person I was talking about. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Tell me your thoughts about this episode and the last episode and the episode before that and the episode before that. Tell me your thoughts about it. Tell me how, if you're liking the series so far or tell me if you want me to start a new series and I'll get back to the series later. Um, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe. I read all y'all's comments. And... Um, I want to check out these other stories. I don't want to use them, but I want to just, like, look at them. So, rules of engagement book one. Okay. I don't know what this has to do with. So, there's rules of engagement book one. Love hacks. <laughs> new city, new job, new friends. Can you navigate the hilarious ups and downs of dating in the modern world? Why does it say modern world? That's the Golden Gate Bridge. Endless summer. Adventure and romance await in the tropical paradise of La Hirita. La Hirita. I don't know. Can you solve the island's mysteries? Oh no. Oh, uh, what's this? The haunting braid. Haunted braid of Braidwood Manor. Do you dare spend the night in the Braidwood Manor? Oh my gosh. And then there's a bunch of like superhero ones. Looks like Superwoman. Okay, um, tell me after I'm done with all 17 episodes, which, how many, like, chapters there are, I will stop the series, but if you guys want me to come back and do one of these, I will gladly, I mean, I'll be doing, playing some of these off camera, because they look super fun, I will be playing some of these off camera, but if you want me to do a certain story that I haven't done yet, um, and start a new season, season two of choices like rules of engagement or something or love hacks or your favorite one or it could just continue on to book two if you like 
if you like really want me to and then I could go on to book three for season three I think that's actually what I might do I might finish all the freshman ones and then so I'm gonna do freshman book one and then how many freshmen book two there's 15 this is only gonna be 15 episodes for season two and then oh okay so there's three so far but by the time I get to this I'll probably make more I don't know. I don't know. But anyways, thank you so much for watching. To come, don't don't get to comment. What? No, comment, comment, like, subscribe, share, all that wonderful stuff. Remember to go check out episode three, two, and one in the description. I'm not gonna have all the links, but video link after video link, you'll get to see all the videos. Or, you could just go to my channel and click on my playlist choices just to make it easier for you. And don't, yeah, subscribe. And you'll be able to see a new choices video about every two days or so. Sorry, I mean, this video was going to be a little bit shorter. But, uh, turns out I've been talking for way too long. It's already 60 minutes. So, bye. P -p 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 Peace.